Hello and welcome to Pokemon Unite! Alright, first things first, I'm sorry, I totally didn't even bother checking OBS, and my capture window is not the right size, and I just cut off the bottom and right side of the screen. I'm sorry, I'll never make that mistake again. Just hurry up, click dislike, and let's get it over with. Alright, so this game, I'm gonna be playing Squirtle. I like Squirtle. He just throws out a bunch of water, smacks you in the face, knocks you back. Fun times. For me, I haven't played too much Surf Hydro Pump Blastoise, but with the bug fix to Rapid Spin Water Spouts, I figured I'd give it a shot. And it's so much fun, actually. I'm having a good time with it. So here I am leaning with a Ninetales against a Snorlax and Cramorant. Snorlax is always kind of scary to fight in the early game. His tackle does so much damage, especially followed up by a boosted attack. Ugh. Like, if you just see a Snorlax with a boosted attack running at you, you better run because boosted attack, tackle, boosted attack, uh, it does like 70% damage, so, uh, oof. But Cram, on the other hand, I think me and Ninetales just have enough CC. If Cram tries to get close, he'll just, uh, get smacked. So, bees are coming up soon, Ninetales goes to get Crawdont, or Corfish, not Crawdont yet. And I'm just, uh, checking some bushes. In retrospect, watching this replay, I can obviously see Zeraora is in top lane, but I mean, in game, I'm not paying attention, I'm watching my lane. So we get all but one of the bees, and oh, that's such a clean double freeze. Good job, Ninetales. I was a little out of position. I was not ready for such a sick double CC. Maybe if I was just a few inches forward more, we could have gotten them both. But we do end up getting Snorlax, so that's still good. I put in a quick dunk and evolve, and there's my Hydro Pump. And Hydro Pump, considering it also like knockbacks and stuns, it does pretty decent damage. All right, now it's time to heal up and grab some Odinos. And Cramorant's also on the same page and tries to yoink ours, but... <laughs> Rip Ninetales gets the last basic in. Me and Ninetales, uh, just shutting them down. Feels bad. So Ninetales is going deep against Snorlax and Cramorant. I could have gone with, maybe, but I see Ivysaur's here and the rest of the team's coming, so I just get Audino and Corefish instead. And yep, there they go. They, uh, demolish that bottom goal. Just in time for Dreadnought. And now for the exciting part, waiting around for Dreadnought to spawn. Fun and interactive gameplay. At least some bees pop in, so there's something. Alright, back to waiting. Everyone's in their bushes, ready to go, then suddenly, Pikachu comes out of nowhere, apparently missing the memo! He goes right into the fight! And suddenly, our entire team pops out of the bushes! Then their team pops out of the bushes! What madness is this? It's time for a team fight! Their Pikachu's down, our Pikachu's down! Their Zeraora follows suit! Then we get their Snorlax and Cramorant, it's a bloodbath! At least I'd be sort of got away. <laughs> Well, that's a nice free Dreadnought. Since we already broke their bottom goal, uh, there's no time to score, so guess it's time to go top and do Rotom. And already up top, we have some exciting Pikachu on Pikachu action. I guess actually not that exciting. It seems like their Pikachu is just, um, waiting around. So, everyone heads up top. I wish I had more time to score some points. I really want to hit level 9 as soon as possible. I evolve, I get my Unite move. Then I can actually use my Energy Amp and Buddy Barrier. That's when the build really pops off. And we're right back into it. It's time for another team fight. We're down Talonflame, who is, um, very overleveled right now. But luckily, Venusaur and Ninetales do have their Unite moves, so we should be fine without them. No, turns out that's wrong. We're dead. We're horribly dead. I actually got incredibly lucky <laughs> that Venusaur's Buddy Barrier hit me as not Pikachu, because that's the only reason Pikachu died instead of me. Thank God. And like a savior descending from the heavens, Talonflame swoops in for a quick trip, then pieces out. What a guy. You know, gotta commend Ivysaur trying to steal that Rotom, but with a Pikachu stun and a Blastoise surf, Rotom is safely secured. So the enemy Pikachu uses their Unite move, and I'm a little hesitant of running headfirst into it, but I see Ninetales is in danger, and I gotta do my best to save him. So I charge right in, and somehow Ninetales makes it out. 
Somehow we all make it out. I guess the enemy just got so distracted stopping Rotom that they didn't bother chasing us down. I mean, I'll take it. All three of us are weak, so we base, and I mean, Dreadnought spawning anyway, so time to head south. Venusaur decides to stay top and stall. Talonflame joins them, and once again, it's a nice and easy Dreadnought for us. So, it was an interesting decision for Talonflame to jump on top of three of them. He gets absolutely melted, and then Venusaur is left alone to get ganged up on, but, I mean, they stalled. We got Dredna, no contest. And Venusaur and Cram both base, so they don't counter push us. Only Snorlax comes our way. I mean, I guess everything worked out in the end. And unfortunate for Ninetales, in the middle of an attack animation, gets melted by Surf Hurricane. So me and Pika are in a bad spot. But I really want this Vespaquin. No punish, no punish, I'll take it, no punish. <laughs> <laughs> if only I actually did get that Vespaquin. Now I'm just low on life for no reason. But then I immediately get murdered because I don't have time to heal. And then Pikachu gets murdered and now it's a 3v1 versus an almost dead Ninetales. Uh... But actually, all according to plan because Ninetales destroys the shit out of them. And it's not even level advantage, only Snorlax is underleveled. That Avalanche Blizzard combo just does so much to cram in Zeraora. So once Pikachu and I respawn, we see Rotom is about to pop, so we head right up there. Which, I mean, hey, fine with me. There's a Battle Pass quest this week to kill six Rotom. The poor little enemy Pikachu tries his best, but he's just not strong enough to 2v1. So meanwhile, Talonflame appears to be distracting the rest of the team, and by the time they start heading top, we already have Rotom. And here it is. Now is my chance. Can I score a second goal this game? There's no enemies on my mini-map. All I have to do is walk this Rotom to their base and score. But nope, joke's on me, everyone's there to defend. I just want a second goal. Guys, I just want that score so bad. No, this is my time, and they're trying to get in my way? Hell no. <sighs> but unfortunately, not even a poorly timed Unite move got me my score. And reluctantly, I retreat. But I mean... Dreadnought's up anyway, he's got time to score, ha ha ha, not me. And once again, the enemy team is so busy, we get a free Dreadnought. An unsuspecting Zeraora skillfully ejects the very last moment. Nicely done. And I mean, it's literally the exact frame Talonflame impacts. But in the end, it didn't even matter. I would have loved to score bottom, but I decide I should let the squishier boys score instead. After all, I do have a score shield, so I mean, I can score later. And here it is, the final stretch. And as you can see, we're only 250 points ahead. They can easily just take Zapdos and then dunk more. Unite moves popping off left and right, bam bam bam, except mine because I blew mine at Rotom earlier. But hey, that Unite got me a double, so worth. And emerging from that final team fight is Venusaur and Talonflame, securing our win and causing the enemies to surrender. So in the end, I didn't really score any points, but it didn't really matter, we didn't win on points. You know, we won because our team won every single team fight. And all I gotta say is, I contributed. But yo, that Talonflame and Ninetales were so clutch. But there you go, that's the game. I'm just gonna pull up the damage numbers real quick if you guys want to take a look. But that's it for me. Until next time.